Hey everyone, in this video we're looking at the transit of the Moon over the Ascendant and we're going to look at it through the lens of Valmiki's Astropalmistry. So the key characters to look at over here is that of Ravan and his fight with Ram towards the end of the war. So first let me tell you about the story of this and then we'll actually get into the technique itself. So Ram and Ravan fought their final battle with each other on the last day of the war. At one point during this duel, Ravan gets the upper hand and he shoots an arrow at Mathali. And that's Indra's charioteer who is helping Ram during this battle. So seeing this, all the gods and the dishes and celestial beings who were watching the war, they cried out, distressed to see Rama, bright like the full moon, eclipsed by Ravan, who swallowed light like Rahu, the devourer of the moon. And in retaliation, Ram shot an arrow at the demon king and cut his head off. But this did not kill Ravan and he managed to grow another head. So Ram shot another arrow and cut another one of Ravan's heads off. And again Ravan was not affected so Ram cut off another head with yet another arrow. And this pattern repeated itself several times until Mithali advised Ram to shoot Brahma's arrow into Ravan's heart. And Ram did so and Ravan was killed instantly. So let's try and make sense of this. Ram and Ravan represent the Ascendant and the Lunar Ascendant respectively. And if we look at it from that perspective, then that whole comment about Rahu and the Moon, that'll start to make sense here. Because Ravan's approach of Ram during the battle represents the Moon's transit of the Ascendant. And as Ravan has his heads cut off repeatedly, he begins to mirror Rahu, and that's the North Node of the Moon, which is actually the head of a demon serpent that was decapitated by Vishnu. And Vishnu is the god who's Ram's true self, he's the incarnation of Vishnu. In fact, Ravan mirroring Rahu is explicitly stated in this passage as diminishing Ram's luster. So the sun and the moon, they lose their individuality whenever they enter the ascendant. The sun, it foregoes its plans and desires in favor of the soul's karmic path, whereas the moon loses its emotional hold on a native. And this gives strength to Rahu by default because it's constantly trying to control these two planets. Thus, when the Sun and Moon are weakened by the Ascendant, Rahu automatically gains strength. And this isn't because the Ascendant has this influence on Rahu, but because Rahu needs to spend less of its energy trying to control the Sun and the Moon. So what Valmik is really saying here is that the Moon's transit of the Ascendant will strengthen Rahu. And this technique is as simple as that. Whenever the moon transits your ascendant once every 28 days, then this technique will come to effect. But if you have any questions, put them in the comment section below and hit subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys.